Alicia tried for more than a year to learn the outcome of a complaint she made about a colleague at Ashley Youth Detention Centre. Despite appeals to the department and even the Premier, this is how she found out. It's my understanding, or I've been advised, that no breach was found. To have that outcome revealed um, in Parliament with no warning and no, um, no opportunity to sort of ensure that I was supported in that moment or... Um, was, uh, yeah, disgusting. Alicia was brought in to improve Ashley, the fourth person to take on the role within two years. Before her arrival, after sending a photo of herself in an introductory email, she claims a colleague... ..referred to myself in a public um, staff setting as looking like a Japanese doll. And yet today we've been told by the Premier and the Secretary that there's been no breach of the code of conduct and yet she still can't go back to work because they can't make her workplace safe. How does that make any sense? Alicia is risking her job by speaking out but feels she has no choice. She alleges after making her complaint she was bullied, even physically assaulted. It is an extraordinarily harmful environment for everyone that's in it and I can see no valid justification on earth for keeping the centre open. Alicia says she made her complaint because she thought it was the right thing to do but the process has left her deeply disillusioned. She wants urgent change to how complaints like hers are handled. I can say that I regret following process very much because it has um, been extraordinarily harmful to me. The head of the public service has since apologised and offered to meet with Alicia. Emily Baker, ABC News.